In the vastness of our galaxy, the sun isn't just a stationary ball of fire. It's on a mysterious voyage, tracing a path through a hidden corner of the Milky Way. What lies ahead as it races through the Orion Arm? This journey through the stars holds more surprises than we might expect. With every second, the sun and everything around it are moving at incredible speeds, through a place filled with untold wonders and cosmic mysteries. Let's uncover what this path means for us and our place in the galaxy. The Sun, along with the entire solar system, is hurtling through space at an astonishing speed as it orbits around the center of the Milky Way galaxy. This orbital speed is approximately 220 kilometers per second, about 136 miles per second, which translates to roughly 792,000 kilometers per hour about 492,000 miles per hour. This immense speed is necessary for the Sun to maintain its orbit within the galaxy, balancing the gravitational pull of the Milky Way's massive core. The Milky Way is a barred spiral galaxy and our solar system is located in one of its spiral arms known as the Orion Arm, about 27,000 light years from the galactic center. The Sun's journey around the galaxy is not a simple circular path. Instead, it's an elliptical orbit influenced by the gravitational forces of other stars and the distribution of dark matter in the galaxy. The Sun takes approximately 225 to 250 million years to complete one full orbit around the Milky Way's center, a period known as a galactic year or cosmic year. This means that since its formation around 4.6 billion years ago, the Sun has completed about 20 to 25 orbits around the galaxy. Understanding the Sun's orbital speed is crucial for studying the dynamics of the Milky Way and the interaction of our solar system with the galactic environment. It also helps astronomers understand the long-term movement of stars and the evolution of galaxies. Despite the incredible speed at which we're moving, this motion is imperceptible to us on Earth due to the vast scales involved and the fact that everything in our vicinity is moving along with us. The Sun's speed relative to nearby stars is an important aspect of understanding our solar system's movement through space. This speed, known as the Sun's peculiar velocity, is about 19.7 kilometers per second, approximately 12.2 miles per second, relative to the local standard of rest LSR, a reference frame that averages the motion of nearby stars in the Milky Way. Unlike the Sun's orbital speed around the Milky Way, which is influenced by the galaxy's overall mass and structure, the Sun's speed relative to nearby stars reflects the local dynamics of our stellar neighborhood. These neighboring stars are also orbiting the Milky Way, but each star has its unique velocity vector, leading to relative motion between them. This relative motion has several important implications. First, it determines how the solar system interacts with the interstellar medium, the sparse material that exists in the space between stars. As the Sun moves through this medium, it creates a bow shock, similar to the shock wave a boat creates as it moves through water due to its relative speed. The shape and characteristics of this bow shock can provide insights into the properties of the interstellar medium and the heliosphere, the bubble of solar wind that surrounds our solar system. The Sun's relative speed also influences how we perceive the motion of nearby stars. Some stars appear to move faster across the sky, in a phenomenon known as proper motion, because they are either very close to us or have a significant relative velocity. These relative motions are essential for astrometry, the precise measurement of the positions and movements of stars, which in turn helps us map the structure of our galaxy and understand the gravitational influences at play. Overall, the Sun's speed relative to nearby stars is a key factor in the broader dynamics of our local cosmic environment, influencing everything from the interaction with interstellar space to the way we measure and understand stellar motions. The Sun's movement through space is often measured relative to the local standard of rest, LSR, a theoretical point in the Milky Way that represents the average motion of stars in our region of the galaxy. The LSR serves as a reference frame, essentially providing a baseline for comparing the motion of different celestial objects, including the Sun. The Sun is not stationary within this frame. Instead, it has a peculiar velocity, 
meaning it moves at a speed of about 19.7 kilometers per second, approximately 12, 2 miles per second, relative to the LSR. This movement is a combination of three components. Towards the constellation of Hercules, solar apex, away from the constellation of Columba and upwards towards the north galactic pole. Understanding the Sun's velocity relative to the LSR is crucial for several reasons. Firstly, it helps astronomers better comprehend the dynamics of the Milky Way, particularly the behavior of stars in the disk of the galaxy. Since stars in different regions of the galaxy can have varying velocities, knowing the Sun's motion relative to the LSR allows scientists to compare our solar system's behavior to that of other stellar systems. This movement also influences how we observe other stars and their motions. For instance, if a star appears to be moving towards or away from us, part of this motion might be due to the Sun's movement relative to the LSR rather than the star's own intrinsic motion. The Sun's motion relative to the LSR also impacts our understanding of the interstellar medium, the tenuous gas and dust that exist between stars. As the solar system moves through this medium, its relative speed can affect the shape and structure of the heliosphere, the protective bubble formed by the solar wind, and the nature of cosmic rays entering our solar system. The Sun, along with the entire solar system, is moving through space towards a specific point in the sky known as the solar apex. This motion is part of what astronomers refer to as the Sun's peculiar velocity, its speed relative to the average movement of nearby stars. The solar apex is located in the direction of the constellation Hercules, specifically near the bright star Vega. The Sun's speed toward the solar apex is approximately 19.7 kilometers per second, about 12.2 miles per second. This motion is a result of the complex gravitational interactions within the Milky Way galaxy, which cause stars, including the Sun, to move in various directions and at different speeds. The direction towards the solar apex is essentially the heading of the solar system as it travels through the local region of the galaxy. Understanding the movement towards the solar apex has significant implications for our comprehension of the solar system's dynamics and its place within the Milky Way. This motion influences how we observe other stars and their movements. For instance, stars in the direction of the solar apex will appear to be moving slightly faster towards us, while those in the opposite direction, towards the solar antapex, will seem to be receding. The movement towards the solar apex also affects the distribution of cosmic rays and interstellar matter encountered by the solar system. As we move through space, we encounter different regions of the interstellar medium, which can vary in density and composition. The direction and speed of our motion influence the shape of the heliosphere, the bubble of solar wind that protects the solar system from much of the galactic cosmic radiation. Additionally, this motion is a key factor in astrometry, the precise measurement of stars' positions and motions. By accounting for the Sun's movement towards the solar apex, astronomers can more accurately determine the true velocities of other stars and celestial objects, leading to a better understanding of the galaxy's structure and the dynamics of star systems within it. The Sun's movement through space can also be analyzed in relation to the cosmic microwave background, CMB, which serves as a universal reference frame. The CMB is the afterglow of the Big Bang, a faint radiation that permeates the universe, providing a snapshot of the cosmos when it was just 380,000 years old. This background radiation is remarkably uniform, but slight variations in temperature allow scientists to detect motion relative to it. The Sun, along with the entire solar system, is moving at an impressive speed of approximately 370 kilometers per second, about 828,000 miles per hour, relative to the CMB. This motion is directed towards the constellation Leo, specifically in the direction of the Virgo cluster of galaxies. This speed is significantly higher than the Sun's orbital speed around the Milky Way, reflecting the combined motion of the solar system through the galaxy and the galaxy itself moving through the universe. The significance of the Sun's motion relative to the CMB lies in its implications for cosmology and our understanding of the universe's large-scale structure. 
By measuring this motion, astronomers can separate the movement of the solar system from the movement of the Milky Way and other local galaxies. This helps in constructing a more accurate picture of the universe's expansion and the distribution of matter across cosmic scales. Moreover, the Sun's velocity relative to the CMB is critical for precise cosmological measurements. For example, when studying the light from distant galaxies, astronomers must account for this motion to correctly interpret redshifts and blue shifts, which indicate how fast these galaxies are moving away from or towards us due to the universe's expansion. This movement also contributes to our understanding of the so-called dipole anisotropy in the CMB. The slight temperature difference in the CMB observed in different directions is primarily caused by the solar system's motion relative to this universal background. This anisotropy provides direct evidence of our motion through the universe and is a crucial piece of evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory. The Sun's motion within the solar system is a complex interplay of gravitational forces that governs not only its own position, but also the orbits of all the planets, moons and other objects within the solar system. While the Sun is often considered the stationary center of the solar system, it actually moves slightly in response to the gravitational pull from the planets, particularly the largest ones like Jupiter and Saturn. This movement is known as the solar wobble or the motion of the Sun around the solar system's barycenter. The barycenter is the common center of mass around which all the objects in the solar system, including the Sun, orbit. Because the Sun contains more than 99.8% of the total mass of the solar system, this barycenter usually lies just outside the Sun's surface or within it, depending on the positions of the major planets. For instance, when Jupiter and Saturn are aligned on one side of the Sun, the barycenter might be just outside the Sun, causing it to move slightly. This movement of the Sun around the barycenter is slow and small compared to its motion through the galaxy, but it is significant enough to be detectable. This wobble is used in the detection of exoplanets around other stars. By observing the wobble in a star's position or velocity, a method known as astrometry or Doppler spectroscopy, astronomers can infer the presence of planets that are otherwise invisible. Understanding the Sun's motion within the solar system also helps in precise calculations of planetary orbits, space missions, and even the timing of events like eclipses. The Sun's slight movement impacts the exact positions of the planets over time, which is crucial for navigation in space and for predicting celestial events with accuracy. Moreover, this internal motion of the Sun reflects the dynamic nature of our solar system, where even the seemingly immovable center is influenced by the gravitational dance of its constituent planets. It highlights the interconnectedness of all objects in the solar system, each influencing the others in a delicate gravitational balance. The Sun, along with the entire solar system, moves through space in a helical or spiral motion, often described as a corkscrew-like path. This movement is the result of the solar system's combined orbital motion around the center of the Milky Way galaxy and its own velocity relative to the surrounding stars and interstellar medium. As the solar system orbits the Milky Way at a speed of approximately 220 kilometers per second, about 136 miles per second, it doesn't move in a flat, circular path. Instead, because of the gravitational forces acting upon it, particularly from the galactic center and nearby stellar masses, the solar system follows a helical trajectory. The Sun leads this motion, pulling the planets along in a spiraling path through space. This helical motion is a result of the fact that the plane of the solar system, known as the ecliptic plane, is tilted relative to the plane of the Milky Way galaxy. As the solar system orbits the galactic center, it oscillates up and down through the galactic plane in a wave-like manner completing one oscillation approximately every 60 to 70 million years. This motion can be visualized as a series of spirals or helixes as the solar system orbits the galaxy while moving vertically through the galactic plane. The helical motion of the solar system is significant for several reasons. It influences how the solar system interacts with the interstellar medium, which is not uniform. As we move through different regions of the galaxy, the density and composition of the interstellar medium vary, potentially affecting the heliosphere, 
the bubble of solar wind that protects the solar system from cosmic radiation. Moreover, this motion may have implications for understanding the history of life on Earth. Some scientists hypothesize that as the solar system moves through regions of higher density in the galaxy, it could encounter more cosmic dust and radiation, which might impact Earth's climate or increase the likelihood of comet impacts, potentially influencing biological evolution. The Sun's speed relative to the center of the Milky Way galaxy is a key factor in understanding our solar system's journey through the cosmos. As the Sun orbits the Milky Way's center, it travels at an astonishing speed of about 220 kilometers per second, approximately 136 miles per second. This speed is part of the Sun's motion around the galactic center, a journey that takes about 225 to 250 million years to complete a single orbit known as a galactic year or cosmic year. The Milky Way is a massive spiral galaxy with a central bulge containing a supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius R. The gravitational pull from this black hole, along with the combined mass of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter in the galaxy, influences the Sun's orbit. Despite the immense distance of about 27,000 light-years from the galactic center, the Sun's motion is significantly affected by this central mass. The Sun's speed relative to the galactic center is not constant, it can vary slightly depending on the gravitational influences from other stars and the distribution of dark matter within the galaxy. This speed is crucial for maintaining the Sun's stable orbit around the Milky Way. If the Sun were moving much faster or slower, it could potentially alter its orbit, leading to a more elliptical path or even destabilization within the galaxy. Understanding the Sun's speed relative to the galactic center also helps astronomers map the structure of the Milky Way. By studying the orbits of stars like the Sun, scientists can infer the distribution of mass within the galaxy, including the elusive dark matter that doesn't emit light but exerts gravitational forces. This motion is also significant for our position in the galaxy. The Sun's relatively circular orbit helps keep the solar system in a stable region of the galaxy, away from the more chaotic central bulge and outer regions where conditions might be less favorable for life. The Sun's movement within the Milky Way is governed by its orbital velocity around the galactic center, which is known as its galactic orbit velocity. This velocity is approximately 220 kilometers per second, about 136 miles per second, allowing the Sun, along with the entire solar system, to maintain a stable orbit around the center of the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way is a barred spiral galaxy, and our solar system is located in the Orion Arm, about 27,000 light years from the galactic center. The Sun's orbit around the Milky Way is not a perfect circle. Rather, it is slightly elliptical. This orbit is influenced by the gravitational pull of the massive central bulge, where a supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A, resides, as well as the gravitational forces from other stars, gas, dust, and dark matter that make up the galaxy. This orbital velocity is essential for the stability of the solar system within the galaxy. If the Sun were moving significantly slower, it could be pulled closer to the galactic center, potentially subjecting the solar system to the more chaotic environment near Sagittarius A. Conversely, if it were moving much faster, it could be flung out towards the galaxy's periphery, where the conditions might be less conducive to maintaining a stable environment for life. The Sun's galactic orbit velocity also contributes to our understanding of the mass distribution within the Milky Way. By studying the motion of the Sun and other stars, Astronomers can estimate the amount of visible and dark matter in the galaxy. This velocity is also used to calibrate models of galactic dynamics, helping to refine our understanding of how galaxies evolve over time. Furthermore, the Sun's position and velocity within the Milky Way play a crucial role in the long-term stability of the solar system. Our relatively circular orbit in the Orion Arm keeps us in a region of the galaxy that is relatively calm with fewer supernova and other potentially disruptive cosmic events compared to areas closer to the galactic center.